Okay, it's January 30th, I think. I don't know. But anyway, it's a Monday. Um, been working in this apartment. And thankfully, it's almost done. I'm in the finishing touches. Uh, really just minor stuff, but got a bit of a late start getting here. And then... I went outside to grab something or do something. Oh, I know what it was. I went outside to push the dryer vent back in because I was doing some work over there. And lo and behold, I wind up getting stuck outside for God knows how long because some stupid motherfucking idiots, pardon my language, decided they were going to order some pizzas and sodas to be delivered with the intent of jacking the delivery driver for the pizzas and money. He gets there and the guys, I don't know what they were thinking, they had it delivered to their address of all things. And uh, Needless to say, he gets there and one of them grabs the pizzas while another one pushes them down. And they turn around and walk away. Laughing about it and everything. Well, the guy calls his boss and they say call 911. So the guy does this. And I swear to God, I have never seen the Oakland police move that fast and that fast that heavy. I mean, it looked like they had the whole force that serves this area out here and then some. And they were here in less than a minute. And they went all out to find the people that did this and got them. And uh, they got a positive identification on every one of them. So these guys that knew the police were looking for them, they were taken off and trying to run from the police. So now they're getting felony charges for evading the police on top of getting a robbery and assault case. So they really, really fucked up. But anyway, I happened to go outside just as the police were pulling up. And because they were doing their they were hunting, trying to figure everything out. I got stuck sitting out there forever. And if it hadn't been for that and I'd gotten the earlier start that I wanted to get today, I would actually be pulling everything out of here first thing in the morning. But I didn't get to do that today. Not happy about it because I've got other work I need to do but it's looking good. Uh, got the blinds up, all of them. They're all the white ones like that. A little bit of contrast. Uh, I'm hurting like hell, but thankfully this job's almost done, like I said. Uh, I put the covers, or the cover, one of them on the wall heater and because it was painted and that's the first time it's getting hot since I painted it it stinks to high heaven but uh, anyway tomorrow I will be over at uh, another friend of mine at one of his buildings working on getting some cameras stuff set up. Earning a little extra money and then Wednesday I get to go out to Stockton and work for work at one of the buildings that he takes care of over there too. And I hate doing that junk. But uh, anyway, uh, money's money to me right now. When you're broke like I am, you just do what you can to get money. Uh, I don't know how long I'm going to keep going as working for apartments like this, but I am looking at getting into the income housing 
scene where you buy houses that need work done to them and you fix them up and you sell them. But the cool thing is I actually have a seminar I'm going to on Friday that they help they give you a lot of the information on doing that and how to get your investors. They give you two DVDs that help that give you information that you need. And uh I've gotten lucky and I'm getting to go to the seminar for free, so I'm looking forward to that. Um It's just, I need to get away from this. The guy I've been working for, he's a dumbass. That's the only way to describe it. An apartment that should take no less than a month to complete. No less. He's wanted me to get it done in two weeks. And not even that. To make it worse, he already had a prospective tenant before we even started working on it before he even turned the apartment over to me. And then, all along, he's been sitting here lying and trying to tell me, oh, they got an inspection coming up uh, in a couple of weeks. And it's like, I don't believe him anymore because he's lied to me so much. And I bet if I texted him again tomorrow and said, when's that inspection again? He'd give me a whole different day. Right now he's saying it's coming up on Thursday. So yeah, I'm not happy with him. But uh, it's just an ongoing thing with him of doing stupid stuff like that. And uh, I'm tired of it. I can't keep going with it. I mean, I'm spending, there's days where I spend over 12 hours out here just working. And I'm tired of it. I'm sore. And to top it off, I don't make enough money for this. I mean, if I didn't have all the bills I've got right now, yeah, working for, you know, $11 an hour basically wouldn't bother me. But I've got a lot of bills come up now. I've got a lot of stuff going on. I got work that I have to do for me that I can't afford to do because he's uh he ain't paying me enough. So, yeah. You can see what's what I'm talking about. I am just I don't know what to do about him. But it's like I turn around and he asks me, well, how much would you charge? How much is it to do such and such? Oh, it's going to cost this much. Well, that's too much. You need to go down on it. No, I'm already below market value. You know, uh, doing the laminate wood floors I do. That's anywhere from like $2 to like $5 a square foot to put it down. That's just to put it down. That don't include tearing the old flooring up and hauling it away and getting the uh, everything prepped. That doesn't even include that. That doesn't even include materials. But what's he doing? Two dollars a square foot's too much. And you know, when it was, I didn't have much of as far as bills to go and pay. It wasn't no big deal. But now I need the money. So I'm starting to do other work as well, and he doesn't even like that. So when I start doing more work for him, I start charging him more. And when he's like, well, no, that's too much, I'll say no, because you want me to keep working for you, but you don't want to pay me. It's either you pay me what I need, like you should be, or I work somewhere else. And I don't have a problem doing it, because I, I can always have work. You know, hell, I'm not even supposed to be working right now anyway because of my back. I mean, four screws and a steel plate in your back, that's not a good thing. But anyway, I'm thinking about going ahead and getting ready to call it a night because I am just hurting. Just load up all my stuff that I don't need here anymore and head home. And then just come back tomorrow after I help my buddy with the cameras for a little bit. <sighs> I tell you, at least this apartment's looking better, bit by bit. But tomorrow I gotta cut some uh, 
veneer, some wood for some baseboard, and, or uh, toe kicks for some uh, under the kitchen cabinets. But just one step at a time. It's all you can do. At least everything's looking good. Uh, there's the one thing I like about these cabinets is they're the soft clothes. I mean, you can't beat that. Doesn't slam. Same thing with the drawers. Didn't quite get enough of a push. But the problem is the guys that we ordered the cabinets through from Granite Expo, they have two or three different cabinet companies that are their suppliers. And these came from, I think, Midson Cabinetry. And they assemble them there, and then they'll put cardboard on the face of them to protect them and shrink wrap them like that. And the thing is, when they put the drawers in, they just sit them in the tracks like they're supposed to be, but they don't put the screws on the front that hold them and keep from pulling up on the front when you open them. So if you use the handles, you might be okay, but if somebody not knowing pulls up on them when they pull out a little bit, it comes off the track and then it falls out. And I was having that problem. I don't even want to put the handles on these doors because these cabinets because they're nice. But uh, because they didn't have screws in there, you'd have to have the handles really. And I went ahead and uh, because there's the hole there for a set screw to be put in anyway or a screw to uh, anchor the drawer to the uh, slides, I went ahead and put that in there because all it is in the back is a little hole in the back of the drawer and then another hole in the bottom and each the back has a pin that it goes into, goes into the hole and the front has a pin that the drawer falls onto with the hole that's there. So I went ahead and uh, since there's another hole next to that to put a screw in, I put a screw in there like they should have done at the cabinet place. But that's what you get. But they're, these are expensive camp cabinets too, you know. Two grand for kitchen cabinets. Actually over two grand. It's a lot of money. But, oh well. Anyway, I think I'm going to start packing up everything and getting ready to go home for the night because I'm, I'm beat. Catch y'all on the flip side.